I've had a few emails about this question of running eSignal on Mac. Uh, there's a couple of ways that you can actually run eSignal on Mac. However, eSignal is not designed to run on Mac natively, so you can't run it on Mac OS X. So if we have a look at our options, we can run it on a virtual machine or we can install it via boot camp. I've got the third option there of installing via Wine, but you have to be fairly technical to get that done and it's still not working 100% yet. I'm still working on porting it um, via a wine skin and getting everything functioning correctly, but it's still not production ready yet. So that's not really an option yet. If we have a look at Boot Camp, we can install natively onto our Mac. So basically if we go to the Applications folder and then Utilities, we run the Boot Camp utility form out a portion of our hard drive and then install on that. So we need a Windows 7 license obviously. This is the fastest and most optimal way to run eSignal. So if you're a power user I definitely recommend this way. The only downfall with this is you have to choose which OS you want to boot into. So your computer will start up and you say that you want to boot into Windows or Mac. So if you want to run eSignal you have to boot into Windows and you can't run your Mac applications at the same time. The next option we'll look at are virtual machines. So there's a few different virtual machines we can run, but a virtual machine basically emulates a full computer. So again, we need the Windows CD and third-party software, which is Parallels or uh, there's a couple of others that I'll go through. It does run slow, so it's significantly slower than running on the actual hardware. So virtual machine software, we've got Parallels Desktop, um, VMware Fusion and VirtualBox. The first two are about $90 each and uh, VirtualBox is open source and free. Personally, I use Parallels Desktop. Um, that's just my personal preference. I've tried VirtualBox and it's all right, but I prefer Parallels. As for VMware, I've never tried it, so I can't give any recommendations on that. So what I'm about to do is demo running eSignal 11 under Parallels. I'll go through the startup time and actually getting it installed, but it's all pretty self-explanatory.